Hey guys, it's Chris at the station today. And our microdrift pole has finally arrived. At first glance, you can see it's well packaged to help keep it secure during shipping and for presentation. At the base, you can see it has a rubber grip to ensure the perfect non-slip grip. The main shaft is made of aluminum and powder coated black with the microdrift emblem in it. It also has two twist knobs that allow you to extend it to the full length of 33 and a half inches. The microchip pole includes an extra locking nut along with a GoPro thumb screw with a very detailed instruction manual on how to use it and shows you the process for each step. The end section that allows you to be able to tilt or pan your GoPro is well crafted and doesn't look cheap at all. On the contrary, it is made of high grade quality materials and looks very, very sturdy definitely has some weight to it so how about we put it to the test and see what it can do here you can see us panning it and tilting it with ease it definitely took some time to get used to it with our GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition and our Hero 4 session that we used to test it on I do like the fact that the L bracket that holds the GoPro in place allows Polar Pro's filters to fit perfectly on the camera and not get in the way or obstruct it in any way this probably, on a side note, won't replace your electronic gimbal, but if you're looking for a decent price accessory with the functionality of an actual gimbal, then the microdrip pole is definitely going to work for you. I did notice with the Hero 4 Session that when flipped upside down, it was easier to control since the weight was on the bottom instead of having to balance it over the top of the pole. Now it's time to stop recording myself and start recording everything around me with it. Tiger, my cat, definitely took to the micro trip pole very quickly and very well. I have found that it's easier to record stationary objects, but I wanted to put it to the test with some small moving objects, so my cats were perfect for this. The ability to be able to pan back around you at the same time to take the video selfie is pretty cool too. Once you get the full control of it with practice, you can get the video pretty smooth with the actions itself. My favorite part is putting it in tilt mode. The ease of taking that video selfie without having to stop your video and unscrew the GoPro and flip it around are pretty cool. I know we've all been there where we've had to take it apart and reassemble it in a different way. We did this by holding the grip in place and grabbing the main shaft and just spinning it until the camera faces. The pole itself works so smoothly unless Tiger's trying to take it for himself. In the tilt mode, you can pretty much start recording from straight up in the sky and gradually bring the pole down as you tilt the camera to the angle you want to capture everything you want and vice versa. My other cats, Apple and Pinky, got interested in the micro drip pole, so they decided to come over and join Tiger in trying to take it from me. I'll take a step back so you can watch them for a second and see how easy the micro drip pole is to use. I can see that Microchip has definitely put together a great product and they took their time with developing it over the last two years. It's pretty impressive what a great idea Inc. Kickstarter can do nowadays. Another added bonus is that if you don't want to tilt or pan, there is a locking screw on the end to lock the GoPro in place and not allow it to tilt or pan and keep it at a steady angle. Go ahead and take a look at my review on my website, thestationtoday.com for a more in-depth review on the microdrift pole. 
Thanks and stay tuned for much more coming up.